Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Again with you, Omar from Valsberg More Sports. Today we have a 2013 BMW M5, and we're going to be showing you the step by step on how to remove and replace the steering airbag. Now, the steering on this car is upgraded to the LCI version. So this video will apply to any M5 from 2011, 2016, uh, 2016, 2017. As long as you have the LCI version, that this video would work for you. The only tools you're going to need uh, are a 10 millimeter and a uh, flathead screwdriver. So let's jump straight to it. All right. So the first step is disconnecting the battery. As you see, I am in the trunk compartment. I already removed the cover in the bottom here, and uh, I removed the 10, two 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is one on this side. There's one on the other side. So once you remove those two, your negative terminal is right there, which I have already disconnected it. But basically, you're just gonna use your 10 millimeter, loosen this, disconnect the terminal, put it inside. Uh, if you have a rug, you can put a rug around it so it doesn't touch the body or anything and create a short circuit. From there, we're gonna move on to the ins inside of the car. All right, uh, here we are inside the car. So uh, this is what I meant by the uh, car have the LCI version of uh, the steering wheel. Uh, it's the new newer M on from 2011 to 13, I believe. Came with a more bulkier M steering. Uh, 14 and up, they came with this style. Uh, the customer obviously had a 2013 and he upgraded this. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove that. Now, the only thing I, you're gonna need will be a uh, flathead, like I said, for this. And uh, the first step uh, is gonna be coming from down here and you're gonna find a small hole over there. So let me get the camera over there and show you what I mean by that. All right, so that's what I'm talking about is that hole over there. And basically we're gonna put our flathead and there's gonna be a rod on the inside that we're gonna push. And then it's gonna release the steering from here. And then we're gonna do the same thing, uh, the steering get it back from here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And just like that, our steering airbag is out. All right, with the steering airbag off, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. And now I'm gonna show you, it has only one connector, and uh, that's the one right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna disconnect it from the inside here, which is, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's basically, it has a tab. I'm gonna use a, uh, uh, a uh, flathead to push on the tab that hooks up to the uh, clock spring. And that's the tab that I'm talking about. It's that tab over there. This is the connector. You push on that tab and then this comes off. Now, as far as the connector itself, to remove it, you simply have to pull on this or use a flathead. All right, so with the steering airbag off, like I was saying, uh, the only way to remove this is uh, we're using a flathead. So this has like two tabs on each side that hooks up inside the uh, uh, pigtail connector. And so I'm gonna put my flathead, make sure you guys could see it. There we go. I'm going to put my flathead behind here and I don't think I can adjust this because the battery is connected but I'm going to put my flathead behind here and I'm going to pull slowly on it slowly slowly there we go and uh, that's how the connector comes off now as these are the two tabs that I was talking about uh, there is no, no other way of getting these two tabs while it's inserted in there you can try and use a, a pick and push them but there is really no space at all but that's how you remove the connector on the airbag I'm gonna go ahead and install this. I just want to show you guys how to remove the steering airbag. And after uh, you're done with this, what you do is you go ahead and connect that. You adjust this, you push it in, and that's that. All right, you guys, that sums up the video for today on how to remove and replace the steering airbag on a uh, BMW M5 or F10 for the matter. Uh, this procedure will apply to any steering wheel that looks like that so whether it's a 3 series 4 series 5 series 2 series and uh, uh even 6 series any steering wheel that looks like that is going to be the same procedure and on some of them they might have two connectors or three instead of just the one that you saw in the video so those connectors are replaceable in the same way or you can disconnect them in the same way uh, if you guys have any questions make sure you drop them in the comment section below and like always make sure to like and follow for more